There was a time in those tintype days of a long lost America when we pictured ourselves together, families, good friends, one great nation under God and the flag. We were the United States of America. But there was a time when those rusting tintypes in our family albums showed a nation broken in two, ripped apart at the very seams of two flags. So torn apart, we fought each other, fathers against fathers, sons against sons, some as young as 15. And tearful mothers kissed their good little boys goodbye and they marched off to war to fight for one flag or another, or to die crying. And there was a time, of course, one blue-gray day, a time to honor the graves of our gallant young men and our good little boys who'd given their lives for their flag. So there, at Gettysburg, came a tall, quiet man a man with the truth of the prairies in his eyes and a deep sadness in his heart to say a few kind words. The sound of his voice is forgotten now, lost in time and space, but we will never forget his words. Four score and seven years ago, our fathers brought forth on this continent a new nation conceived in liberty and dedicated to the proposition that all men are created equal. Abraham Lincoln, the 16th President of the United States, said this, the world will little note nor long remember what we say here, but it can never forget what they did here. But we do remember what they did, Mr. President, and we will never, never forget you or your last few words, your last few precious words. that from these honored dead, we take increased devotion to that cause for which they gave the last full measure of devotion, that we here highly resolve that these dead shall not have died in vain, and that this nation under God shall have a new birth of freedom, and this government of the people by the people, for the people, shall not perish from the earth. time in those tintype days of our great-great-grandfathers when the war between ourselves was over, when once again we called ourselves the United States of America. 